The ENYPL Digital Library contains thousands of ebooks in Adobe EPUB and PDF formats, which are now supported by Sony Reader. In just a few easy steps, you can use your NYPL library card to check out and download ebooks from NYPL for free, transfer them to your Sony Reader, and get reading on the go. If you haven't done so already, the first step is to go to the Sony Reader store and click on Download Software where you can select either the PC or Mac version of the Reader Library software. Follow the instructions provided and you will be able to read your free library ebooks using the same program you use to store and read the books you buy. You can borrow ebooks from NYPL in three easy steps. First, go to ENYPL Home at ebooks.nypl.org. Starting here, you have a few options. You can browse the ebook collection using this left hand menu bar. You can browse all the ebooks by subject, from art to cooking to history to travel, and so on. Or you have the option to limit to browse children's to see only children's ebooks, or young adult to see only young adult ebooks. Under Browse ENYPL Collection over here, you can also select to limit to only EPUB ebooks, which are optimized for use on the Sony Reader. If you know what title you're looking for or are searching for a particular author, you can use the search box up here, type in your terms, and under All Fields, select Title Creator ISBN, and then you can search all formats, which will also bring up audiobooks and music and video, or you can limit to EPUB or PDF books, which are compatible with the Sony Reader. I'm going to come back down here to EPUB eBooks and see what I can find. Here you see a book, Three Willows, and this is available in EPUB format, PDF format, and Mobi Pocket, which is only compatible with Windows machines. Once you find a title you wish to download, you're going to come over here to the right side and click Add to eList. As you can see, I can add to eList the EPUB version of the book, but the PDF and Mobi Pocket versions say Request Item instead. When you see Request Item, that means all the electronic copies of the book in that format are in use, and so you would click on Request Item, enter your email address, and the system will send you an email when the book is available for checkout. But the EPUB version is available, so we're going to click on Add to eList to select this item. And then it's in my eList now. I have 30 minutes to check it out before it's returned to the library's collection. So basically this means it'll hold it for me if I would like to continue browsing and do all my checkouts together. But I'm going to go ahead and proceed to checkout. If I weren't already logged in at this stage, the system would prompt me to enter my library card and PIN number, but I'm already logged in. I can select the lending period here for one, two, or three weeks. You might want to select a shorter lending period because you can only have 12 ENYPL items out on your account at one time. So there are ways to return items early, but if you know you're going to go right through it and want to check out another item, you might just select a shorter lending period. Once you select your lending period, you're going to click on Confirm Checkout down at the bottom, and this brings you to the download screen. So when you're ready to download, click the download button under the picture of the item, and this dialog box will pop up. This is prompting you to open this file with a funny name here. This is just a license for the ebook, which is stored on Adobe's content server. You can use your drop down menu if it doesn't automatically prompt you to open with Reader Library to select that software. Click OK and what will happen is it will launch Reader Library. And over here you can see in status the arrows are spinning. That means it's working to download the book. Once it's downloaded the arrows will stop spinning and the book will appear in your list. So you can see the arrows have stopped and there the book appears in my list right here, Three Willows. If I want to read it on screen I just double click and that will open the book for me and I can scroll through but this is all about transferring ebooks from the library to your Sony Reader. 
So I already have my reader plugged in, but if you didn't, you would plug it in and then it would appear over here as an option. And you just click on the sync button and select down here, sync now. This will sync the contents of your library with your reader. And then if I go back up here to books, I can see, you see how there are books in my library and here there are books on my reader. I can double check, change it back to the list format. And here are all the books that are currently on my Sony reader. And it tells me how much longer I have them. At the end of the lending period, the license will expire and you won't be able to read the book anymore. And you can just go ahead and delete it from your reader library. These instructions are also available on the NYPL website. If you click on Ask NYPL, scroll down to the bottom section, How to Do It Yourself, and find the ENYPL Quick Start Guides. This includes lots of information about using the ENYPL collection, including the instructions I just shared with you about using NYPL eBooks with Sony Reader, which is also available as a PDF. If you have any other questions, please call us at 917-ASK-NYPL or find the Ask NYPL button on every page of the NYPL website and chat with a librarian for assistance now.